doing? <laughs> Let's see what Max got going. He asked me to come help him. Waiting on the axle. There's what's going on with that. We're switching over from four springs to six. So I'm pretty happy about that. Here's where it's all going down. I'm gonna pull out onto the road. Okay, what do you want me to do? Well, so I'm going to pull out onto the road because I have to access underneath with the wrenches. I've got you set up with a socket driver uh, and a half inch socket for those back bolts. And then there's a center bolt right here. I've taken the slide out so you can access it easier. Uh, that's got a 13, yeah, 13 millimeter. Go hang on to that. So you're going to switch from half inch up front and then 13 millimeter in the center. Um, I'm just going to hold it and you ratchet it down. I can dig it. Just got a call from Roger at Custom Springs and the axle is ready. It's about 9.30 in the morning on Monday and we are pumped. We are headed to Custom Springs to pick up an axle for my trailer. Well, I hope you don't make me pay twice. Uh, did you already pay the first Yes, ma'am. And you got the springs and, okay, yeah, you're good. All right, thanks, you're Kimberly. It's eight something in the morning. We're in, we're in Texas. I can't remember the name, but we're through Dallas. So we're on the west side of Dallas for sure. Probably a hundred miles west of Dallas. Why does that keep doing that? My power's out because when we were at uh, Max property, I was covered in trees and the batteries ran down and haven't recharged. I haven't put the solenoid on this bus to charge the batteries while I'm driving and now I really miss it and I wish I had and I don't even know where it is. I haven't seen it. I haven't had eyes on it in, uh, gosh, a year maybe. So maybe when I get everything all unpacked, I'll find that solenoid and install it. It has to be a special solenoid for Battleborn batteries because they're lithium and they draw so much power from the alternator. Looks like we're about two days out pending any uh, issues. So there I was, in Quartzsite, Arizona, and I saw the aliens. Nah, there weren't even any Canadians out there. Badge wasn't even there. It was pretty much a ghost town. 
which is exactly what you look for most times when you're looking for a camp spot. But courtside in the in the winter time is a little bit different. Courtside in Ehrenberg, you want your friends to be there. You want it to be crowded. You want it to be full of uh, campfires and, and uh, evenings with music and stuff. But it wasn't happening courtside. So we decided to instead head on down to Ehrenberg and start getting set up for jobs. We made it. We're here in Ehrenberg, Arizona. Pretty close to the location of where Schoolie Palooza is going to be happening in just a few days. I'm planning on going out and filming a bunch of that and give you guys as many of the school bus tours as I can. I'll look at I'll look for the most unique builds for you to give you as many ideas if you're working on building out something for yourself of how people did it. I always think that's interesting. It seems like I always pick up a tip of some kind. I've got Mac over here. He's banging away on his rig. Let's go take a look at what he's got going. We put the camper shell on his rig in Memphis. We're set up with our tables and starting to pull out some tools here and there. It's a little bit of a chilly day today. It's going to be windy tomorrow and then we're looking at sunshine and in the high 50s for the next week probably. So I couldn't be more happy with the weather report. Let's take a look at what Mac's got going on. What's happening, man? Looks like I'm destined to have like an eighth of an inch gap in this board here. Why so much? I've tried two different boards. It's, I think because I used a thin piece, then a thick piece, and I'm going back to a thin piece. And I think that these but, particular grooves or the tongue or whatever, they're having trouble meeting up. I might maybe just go with another thin or a thick row. I don't know. I thought I'd stop and regroup for a second. Contemplate. Yeah. We got uh, got power though. Got power. We got uh, Max solar panel on yesterday. Pretty happy about that. I and just installed my inverter. Got the battery that Jamie hooked me up with, and the the solar controller. I'm at. Hold on. Stand by. Almost there. Another. There we go. Twelve point eight. Thirty eight volts. 5.35 amps, 85% battery. Not bad considering it's the winter solstice, the sun is hanging low this time of year, and it's a cloudy day. I'll take it. It was at 100% when the sun was out. Nice. When the sun was like just blaring, I was getting full power. Well, all right. We'll leave you to your gap issue. Thank you. You're welcome. We went to Quartzsite first to Scadden Wash where I've been going for nine years. And I was really surprised at how few people were there. Generally, you'll see probably thousands of rigs, a lot of Canadian snowbirds. For those of you that don't know, Quartzsite, Arizona is the snowbird destination capital of the United States, maybe the world, boasting over a million visitors during the winter months and maybe, you know, 5,000 in the summertime that are residents there permanently. We parked for the night, scoped it all out, and decided it would be better to come and uh, get situated in Ehrenberg to set up camp and do what we got going out here. So we're here. If you signed up on the website to have something done to your rig, you're going to be hearing from me either today or tomorrow to start getting you dialed in on that. Oh, I wanted to mention, I'm noticing that I'm, I have a lot of viewers in Australia and the UK besides just the United States and other places too. And I was looking at my metrics of folks that watch the videos that are subscribers opposed to folks that are just non-subscribers checking out the channel. It looks like about 10% are subscribers. If you feel like it and you want to, I would say go ahead and subscribe, go into the comments and let me know where you're from because I wanna meet you, you know? Tell me a little bit about yourself what you're interested in that I post on the channel, and I'll, I'll keep that in mind as I'm making future videos, and let's get to know each other. With that, I'm gonna go ahead and edit this up and start making some phone calls of the folks that uh, signed up for work. And coming soon, Sunshine, Schoolie Palooza, 
and getting some stuff uh, installed for you. See ya. You ain't never had my car ready. It's a little bit of heaven and a little bit of Cut it down the middle. I've been up since like uh, six o'clock. Some mornings I get up early. So there I was, in Quartzsite, Arizona, and I saw the alien. 